Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray. This is Gray's Guitars, and thank you for watching. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, leave a like, and feel free to comment down below what you would like me to do for future guitar and music related videos. So, before we get into it, wow, there's a lot of negativity still on that, uh, that full tone OCD video uh so if, if you want to enjoy some uh, comments from some crazy people go ahead and check out that video uh you'll also enjoy the terrible like to dislike ratio but whatever <laughs> uh moving on so today we are going to be talking about roasted maple guitar necks uh what are they why is everybody going after them is it just a trend what are my thoughts on them and kind of generally what is going on with them so just to show you, I mean, they're they're called a bunch of different types of things. So I mean, you know, there's tortified, there's baked, there's roasted. I th those are kind of like the three main types of what they are called: roasted maple guitar necks. So let's get this going for all of you. And there's kind of like different levels of roasted maple. You know, y you got something like along these lines. This is kind of like a medium roast more closer to the medium side this if you're looking at it it's more on the light side and you go down to something like this this is more on the dark side if you're looking for these specifically i am on the warmth website at this point in time to get some general information because they have some good information about different wood types what they do uh the sound of them and etc so two reasons a lot of people like roasted maple one it matches natural guitars very well uh, sometimes if you have like a natural guitar body that's like you know your darker tone wood, your mahogany, putting a maple neck on it just kind of looks weird. So so people just some people just enjoy the color of these guys better. I mean you can pair it with stuff. You don't have to have a you know a maple fretboard. A lot of warmths. You know there's an ebony one. Uh, this is Indian rosewood, rosewood things along those lines. There's a very light one right there that almost looks like a regular neck. But from what people have said. Um, it's kind of like uh, the more you roast it, the less tonality you get out of it. I don't know if that's true or not, because I personally um, have played a few roasted maple necks. They feel fine. They feel great. No issues. Typically, they do have finishes on them, but technically, they don't need one. They're so stable to the point where they roast them. It gets all the moisture out of the wood, and you don't need a finish, and you can basically just, you're just playing on a raw wood, and it feels great. It feels fantastic. A lot of people like the feel of it. And that's why I think a lot of manufacturers are switching over to roasted maple necks because, number one, they already have the ovens to dry out wood anyway. So they're just drying it out even more. And two, they're spending less money on finishing material because they don't even have to finish the thing. They just, you know, th throw the frets on there. It's perfectly stable and there is no reason at all they need to finish it. So let's kind of look at uh, the different types of maple here. If you look at kind of the tone meter for... Uh, we got bird's eye, we got flame, and we got regular hard maple. They're all on the bright side. So all three of them are on the bright side. I'll, I'll just kind of go through the types of maple that we have here. So bird's eye is a type of figured founded hard maple. It shows best in flat sawn woods. There is a wide variety of sizes and shapes and eyes under the, a gloss finish. Bird's eye takes on a 3D look for a beautiful visual appeal. There seems to be a reoccurring rumor that bird's eye maple is unstable and not suitable for guitars. Having made tens of thousands of bird's eye necks, we can assure you there is no difference in stability. And plain maple AAA grade means that the wood will be a bit more figured than our standard. So this is, yeah, you know, you got it has to have a finish. Plain maple, similar thing, has to have a finished. Hard maple, yet again, has to have a finish. Uh, quarter sawn maple, yep. But then we get on to roasted maple. They call this Acer Shower or something or other. I don't even know how they're pronouncing that. And if you look on the brightness scale, it's basically the same. You know, it's it's tone wise, it's pr basically the same. Obviously, it may sound a little different because regular maple may have a little bit of water in the wood still or moisture in the wood that may affect the tone of it, whereas roasted maple will not. This does not have is not required for a finish. You, as I said right here, you do not have a don't need a finish for this. Very stable wood. So roasted maple that has been heat treated to remove sugars and moisture and other impurities that can affect its stability. That the result is a neck that is slightly lighter than normal and extremely stable. Because of its enhanced stability, a finish is not required, making it a maple of choice for those two 
prefer the smooth, quick feel of natural wood. I personally do. I enjoy the feel of natural wood as opposed to having a finish. The roasting process also brings out beautiful caramel color in the wood. Because basically, it's almost like burning it to a certain extent. You're not really burning it. But the best bet to think of these is kind of like a piece of toast is the best way to describe it. And now it's not weak and brittle or anything along those lines. But if you, to, you know, you, you have a normal piece of bread, it's flexible. It's floppy, you know, you, it's, it's very flexible and floppy. You, you toast that piece of bread and it's solid. Yes, you can snap it in half fairly easily, but it is rock solid, good to go. That is why um, if you do order one of these from Warmoth or any other places, I highly recommend um, having them pre-drill the holes for you because they know what they're doing. Uh, roasted maple, when you're drilling the holes, there is a very high chance of it cracking if you do not do it correctly. I think basically they always recommend you to drill a size bigger, if I remember correctly, but that's, that's the major issue, especially around the tuning pegs because all those holes are so close together. Um, a lot, some of this will inevitably end up going to waste, uh, or you're making a headless guitar, <laughs> one of the two, because there's really nothing you can kind of do about it. It's, I mean, it's the, because the toasting procedure, some of it's going to crack and some of it is inevitably going to go to waste. Let me see if I can find, I had an article here at one point with the whole, the rise of roasted maple guitar and X. And it's not really new, um, you know, it, it was used on some of the higher stuff in the 90s, 2000s. Always been a choice uh, aftermarket as well, you know, w Warmoth has had it quite a while. Uh, yeah, so, if, I mean, roasted flame maple necks do look really nice. Let's see if we can go to the Warmoth page and show you a beautiful roasted flame maple neck. Let's see here, roasted flame maple. The, I mean, this, it's expensive. Don't get me wrong, I mean, you're going to be paying good money for a neck, but look at that beautiful figure. And let's, let's look at this right here. Look at that. That is, that is just a beautifully figured neck. I mean, beautiful. I just love the way that looks, the figuring in the wood. Not that anyone's ever going to see it besides the front of it. And I actually, I don't even, I don't care for the front of it. Because it's got this weird kind of stripey doodad going down the entire length of it. But not a fan. No, I don't want you to show me notifications. Uh, but kind of why? Why is this trending? Why? Why is this on the rise? Um, it's it's kind of, it is. It's kind of like the new new trend, I guess you could say. They said it's not a trend, my friend. Uh, so I mean, we're not going to see. There's no way we're going to see a halt in the process of this. People are going to just keep doing it uh, over and over again. A lot of manufacturers. I I think I have seen um, a few like Charvel. Uh, they will throw a uh, clear coat, like a very thin satin clear coat, over the the neck, um, which I guess technically would make it even more stable, theoretically. You know, I mean, you, you don't really have to worry about fret sprout with this, which is really nice, which I think Fender needs to start doing that, because let me tell you, I have had my fair share of Fenders basically brand new, and they all have fret sprout, and they're like, oh, it's because the maple moves, blah, blah, blah. Well, all I know is I've picked up quite a few Ebiphones and have never had that issue. So either the maple is less stable than mahogany, which is there is a good possibility of that, uh, or Fender ain't doing something right at the factory with the drying process, uh, because I, I've just had so many. It's usually the Mexican line, too. Maybe it's the, the climate from where I am, because I mean, I'm kind of on the East Coast here, and um, definitely I could see that being an issue with the temperature difference. I had a uh, friend of mine had a uh, orange made in Mexico Fender Strat, and uh, that had really, really bad uh, fret nibs. I had a Mustang at one point that I was going to have somebody take care of it, but I traded it for another guitar, um, which actually also has a maple neck. So it's not every maple neck. It seems to be a Fender exclusive. I, I, I've, I've played a few Squires that don't have the issue. So maybe it's, maybe it's just... Uh, kind of exclusively a, a uh, Fender Mexican issue. I, I've never, I've very played very few American Strats uh, that have had that issue. My Telecaster, also all maple neck, technically doesn't have that issue. So I guess it kind of just depends on the guitar, uh, where it's coming from, if somebody's done work to it or not already, and all of that fun jazz. So what are my general thoughts on uh, roasted maple? I like every type of it. So, you know, plain roasted maple, 
Uh, I'm definitely a fan of the Rosewood fretboard because I'm used to that. That's what I've had on almost every guitar. Um, it was it's basically you know on all of the cheaper end guitars it was about ten years ago on everything. Now because it's more of a uh, uh, endangered wood, you're seeing less and less of it, unfortunately. But uh, I got no problem playing on a maple fretboard, or roasted maple. I actually do have technically I have a Gibson Melody Maker SG uh, that is has a tort well Gibson calls it tortified maple. But uh, that was back in like 2011 when the whole Rosewood scare was going on and they're trying to find things that look like maple. And it's a darker maple, but it plays, sounds fine. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. There's some tool marks on it because it is a cheaper model. But other than that, it is a uh, very decent fretboard. Sounds great. No major complaints. I like the look of it. Some people think it's a trend. I don't think it's a trend. It's been around for like 30 years now and uh, going on strong. So... If you like roasted maple, let me know your thoughts down below. If you want to see any other like specific woods on the warm the site you want me to talk about, or if you'd like, uh, I can just kind of go down the entire list. Because I mean, if you look on the site right here, different tonalities. You know, some are warmer, some are brighter. Maple is always generally going to be on the brighter side. Uh, mahogany, if I can find it, I believe is going to be more on the you know warmer side. Let's see, maple, maple clay, maple, 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 maple roasted, podic, I can't even find mahogany. It's on here somewhere. We gotta find the mahogany. Let's see if I can find it. Rosewood, Gonco Elvis, Ebony. Oh, it's not, in, was it not in alphabetical order? That's interesting, they don't show mahogany on here unless I'm missing it. There we go, yeah warm 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 maple bright 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 uh, i mean the tone is all kind of subjective to a certain extent some people can hear it i can't hear the difference between a mahogany neck <laughs> and a maple neck if i'm going to be completely honest and like, if you put one in my hand that had a finish on it uh maybe maybe the fretboard because usually i feel like rosewood's a tiny bit softer has more grain so maybe i'd be able to tell depending on what the fretboard is but if, if it was both a rosewood fretboard on a, on a mahogany and maple neck uh be hard for me to tell definitely so thank you for watching this is gray's guitars and my name is steve gray if you're still here would love if you hit that subscribe button it definitely helps and leave a like and comment what you'd like me to do for future videos and as always have a good one